Oh, hello. I didn't hear you come in. What are you doing in my home? By now, you've seen season one of As the Hamster Wheel Turns. And if not, then you are incredibly lazy and simply want to know what happened without watching the actual episodes. And I'm okay with that. Or am I? Let's go over the characters of this wildly successful Machinima series. The town in As the Hamster Wheel Turns is split up into three conflicting families. The Wellingtons, the Chavez, and the Robots. The Wellingtons are made up of Mr. Wellington, a mustachioed business tycoon whom inherited his super fortune from his father, creator of the robot race. He is in a continual struggle with the Chavez family for the control of the town and with the robot family for control of his finances. Following Mr. Wellington's first wife's tragic accident, he took Ginger in as his trophy wife. He met Ginger in a cockfighting arena in Thailand and instantly fell in love with the fact that she has some of the largest breasts in existence and she is a mute. Julie Wellington, who is a spoiled rich girl who thinks that the world revolves around her and in her father's eyes, it truly does. Recently, she has met the man of her dreams in Rafe and plans to marry him with her father's approval, of course. Rafe met Julie in college and began dating her. After a time, or a few times anyway, they fell in love and decided to get married. Rafe is a very normal guy, with the exceptions of being a vegan and an alien of some kind. Hmm. Mr. Wellington's butler has a thankless job. He waits on Mr. Wellington hand and foot and beckons to his every insane request and order. However, butler may be more than meets the eye, and that isn't a Transformers joke. Or is it? The Chavez family is made up of Maria, who is the mother and head of the Chavez drug cartel. Following the death of her husband in a very unfortunate badger accident, which she had nothing to do with, Maria seized control of most of the drug operations in the county. She is constantly looking for ways to rid herself of Mr. Wellington and take complete control of the town. Nina, who is Maria's right-hand woman and enforcer of the Chavez drug cartel. She is responsible for all collections and expansions of the business and takes her role very seriously. She is also responsible for looking out for Maria's two moron sons, Roberto and Johnny. Roberto, who is the slightly smarter of Maria's twin sons, he is constantly trying to make his mother happy by doing what he thinks she would want. But all he ends up doing is messing things up even worse. And Johnny, who is the incredibly dumber of Maria's twin sons. He is constantly trying to stay focused on Roberto's plans with so many shiny things around. He loves to eat a pizza potamus and play skeetball to his heart's content. Or does he? Stop doing that! That was the last time! Or was it? What did I just say? You know how easily you're replaced? Literally, there are like 20 of you in a litter. <clears throat> the robots are made up of Charles, who is the father of the robot family and was one of the first robots designed by Mr. Wellington's father. Because of this, he feels his family is entitled to his share of the Wellington's fortune. Nancy, who is the mother of the robot family and is horribly addicted to drugs. This addiction has complete control of her and could end up destroying the entire robot family. Cindy, who is the daughter of the robot family and has the typical problems a teenage girl has at that age. She weighs half a ton. Cindy is constantly fighting with her brother, Sam, and could easily be pushed into some of the darker areas of the family. And Sam, who is the son of the robot family and is a smart ass, following in his father's footsteps of hating the Wellingtons. Sam loves to tease Cindy about her weight or anything else he can think of. But of course, none of these characters would matter without the brilliant hamster-infused intros that NO ONE CARE! Wrap it up and make it quick. I need to be at my divorce hearing in 10 minutes. Fine. Your children don't love you anyways. Shut up. <laughs> Well, in season one, Rafe comes to visit Julie to ask her father for her hand in marriage. Julie unmistakably insults Roberto, Johnny, and the whole Chavez family. Charles hurls bricks through Mr. Wellington's window to get back the money he feels he's owed. Meanwhile, Maria tells Nina to get the money owed to her from Nancy Robot. At the robot household, Cindy has a hard time dealing with the fact that she is fat. Nancy suggests drug use as a way to combat this issue. 
When Rafe finally meets Mr. Wellington, everyone is shocked to find out that Rafe is a vegan. Mr. Wellington throws Rafe and Julie out. On their way out, Johnny and Roberto surprise them and kidnap them both. Meanwhile, Nina confronts Nancy about her lack of payment for the drugs she's been using. Johnny and Roberto hold Julie and Rafe in their basement and plan to tell their mother about what they have done. <sighs> so stay tuned for Season 2 of As the Hamster Wheel Turns, where you can expect nothing short of Hardcore Hamster Nudity! <laughs> I'm going to wave it around for another two minutes. That's great. That's another reason I won't get dusted. Hope you're happy.